What's up everyone, Ross here from Warrior Trading. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the three most important settings that you need to enable today if you're gonna use TD Ameritrade, think or swim for day trading. You know what these three settings are gonna do? They're gonna make you a faster trader. And a faster trader is a more accurate trader, and a more accurate trader typically is a more profitable trader. So if you wanna be more profitable, you better enable these three settings today, and that's what I'm gonna walk you through during this video. As always, if you have questions, please leave them below. Any comments, leave them below. I respond to every question and comment posted on my channel. If you like these videos, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's get into these three most important settings. All right, so you wanna use TD Ameritrade for active day trading. That's awesome, the commissions are free, but you've gotta make sure you enable these three settings in order to make the most of the platform. I've been using TD Ameritrade a little bit on the side, and today I'm up $5,936.67, which is an awesome day. So you can absolutely day trade in this platform. It is not quite as fast as uh, the direct access platforms that I like to use, but it's adequate. You know, you can work with what you've got and the free commissions is definitely a compelling offer. So the first setting that I wanna show you, go into setup and then go down to application settings. Now, if you go down to system right here, what you'll notice is that I have my quote speed set to real time. That makes sense, right? Real time quotes. Well, it does make sense. However, by default, I believe it's set at moderate. Maybe it's set at fast, but it's definitely not set at real time. And that's probably okay for people that aren't particularly active traders who maybe are taking a trade every now and then. Their computer will run a little faster without this updating in real time. But for us, for day traders, those of us who are trying to take quick trades, we need real-time quotes. So you wanna go into uh, settings, system, and change that to real-time. All right, so apply. So that's done. So now my quotes right here are gonna be updating in real-time. Now, I'll do a separate video where I talk about why I kind of have this set up the way I do, you know, the, without the level two and using this active trader ladder and everything else. Uh, I'm gonna do a totally separate video on that. It's gonna include a link to download um, my shared workspace. So if you wanna pop this right up on your layout and, and see how I look at it, you can do that um, and you're welcome to it. So I'll put a link in the description below um, for you guys to check out that video on setting up the uh, TDM error trade from, from a perspective of layout. Now, the second setting, go back to setup, go to application settings, and you wanna go to active trader. And what you wanna do is you wanna change the active trader order submission rate limit to zero. By default, it's set at 500. And what that means is that if you double click this right here, like that, it will not send two orders. The way this works, and I don't wanna send an actual order, um, I could put it at a, hundred, at a one share, I guess that's, well, I don't even really wanna do that. Um, let me let me pull up a different stock, um, Sirius Satellite Radio. This has a very tight spread. Okay, so um, so if I click this, I don't think it's it's actually not going to work after hours. Um, but so there, you know, I click the buy market, and if I click it a second time, third time, see how this is changing to three. So if I go one two, see how quickly the order's moving up. I want that because I want to be able to trade really quickly. All right, so. Um, let me go here, I'm gonna cancel uh, all these orders. All right, so they're canceled out. Now, if you have this application setting by default set to 500, what's gonna happen is you start double clicking and it's gonna pop up this after the first order. And that happened to me and I was like, you know, son of a gun, I wanna be jumping in this stock. This thing's slowing me down because now I've gotta click here and then, you know, I, I click it again and it comes up again. So. That's when I learned, I'm gonna go cancel all, to go into setup, application settings, and then change this active trader to zero. It'll make the platform accept your orders instantaneously. So if you wanna take 10,000 shares with 10 clicks, you can do it. You wanna take 10 shares with 10 clicks of a sh one share, you can do that too, and with zero commissions, you know, no reason that why, why you might not want to. All right, so now the last setting, um, I'm gonna log out here and I'm gonna bring up the login window because this last setting is actually on the login window. All right, so let's pull this up here. All right, oops, there we go, sorry. All right, so uh, this is the login window for TD Ameritrade. And what you wanna do is you wanna click on this little settings button 
and you want to change your memory usage from um, typically I think it'll be like this and you want to increase this I increase mine to 6144 now I don't want to go all the way up to 2671 I don't want um, Ameritrade to be using a ton of resources but I want it to use enough resources that it runs quickly and performs well all right so I bumped it up from um, 3278 to 3264 all right and now it runs really fast and if you want to see how fast it runs let me pull up this video of me trading today where I made um, just about 6,000 bucks and I will show you how fast these orders were executing hang on let me just grab this all right so now today I actually was trading in uh, two accounts at the same time uh, on the left side I've got my Lightspeed account and on the right side I've got my TD account and with TD I have this layout kind of minimized um, to just the way I want just just exactly what I need and, and nothing extra all right so let's look for you can see right here my position size is zero and and actually um, well I'll get into I'll get again I'll get into more of why I'm using this way um, in in terms of layout in my layout video all right so let's see do, 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 do. all right so it looks like I'm about to click the buy button here three times so let's watch this so just like that I clicked three orders for 1,000 shares see that three clicks and just like that I'm in that's the type of speed that I want and let's look at the price so it's 78 by 84 right now and I just click the buy button at 84 and check it out I filled and I'm filling at 82 that's an awesome fill 83 okay a little on the higher side and the rest is in I filled the whole thing at 83 3. so I got a pretty good fill on that order instantaneous I mean very close to instantaneous considering I was doing a buy the ask and not a market order now the advantage of doing a market order is you will fill the whole thing the buy the ask it slowed for a second because uh, the order the spread um, was 84 by 87 and my order was at 84 um, but I won't risk on a stock like this suddenly paying nine dollars and 15 cents because it ripped up um, you know without me or whatever so here we're going to get this stock breaking up so what I'm going to do here on my exit uh, is I'm going to place orders uh, let's see oops let me just go back a little bit so right now it shows I have no working orders and so I'm going to scroll up on the ladder this is the the active trader ladder and I'm going to go place a couple orders on the high side I pop one at 20 one at 24 all right so now I've got a couple orders a couple sell orders out there they're ready to execute now all I need uh, is for the stock to rip up to that level of 20 and 24 but because I've already put them out there and I was able to do it as quickly as tapping just like that check it out <laughs> that order filled at 20 just like that it filled at 20 and I'm out and I've got the other one at 24 it hasn't executed yet oh I put it up just a little too high but I expected the break there would potentially give me um, that nice move and on this one you know I got it on the first and now I'm looking for that second execution and there I guess I took um, an order out at 18 and I've got another order there still at 24 I'm going to click cancel all now we're 20 by 25 look at that so this stock I've got now a thousand shares at 884 um, for the record I will continue holding this uh, up to 10 I'm still holding 250 shares now it's at 11 still holding now I'm holding 50 shares and the stock is at 1145 pretty impressive so can you day trade with TD Ameritrade the answer is yes absolutely but you've got to make sure you enable those settings and you want to make sure you've got the layout dialed in so you can trade quickly because it's not quite as intuitive a platform as um, Lightspeed over here where you can type in your order price and just click the buy button it, it takes a little getting used to and I you know I, I'm, I'll be the first to admit that uh, I wasn't the quickest to warm up to it but uh, I have been pretty impressed with it so I encourage you guys if you want to get a copy of uh, my layout 
check out the link in the description below, which is um, gonna jump you over to the video where I break down um, my layout, how I've got this set up, and I'll talk a little bit about the charting perspective as well, all right? And if you have some tips of things that you guys do to get this platform to work even better, maybe a couple settings that I haven't thought of yet, leave them down below in the comments. All right, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. You wanna learn more about trading? Check out some of the links in my description. And if you have questions, ask them in the comments. I personally respond to every question posted on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe.